Hi, and welcome to the NARM online study course. I'm Vicki Penwell, and I'm going to be guiding you through this course. I've been a midwife since uh, the early 80s, and in 1981, I took my first apprentice. In the early 90s, uh, we began to train midwives on a large scale and started doing NARM study retreats. Now, prior to actually the NARM uh, exam and the CPM designation existing, we were already training students to take state uh, board exams. So I've been really training students to help them pass their tests for uh, several decades now. So hopefully this is gonna be something that I can help you also find success in this biggest test of your career. I started my midwifery career in 1979 in Alaska, and since then I've been licensed as a midwife in Alaska, in New Mexico, and in Idaho. I actually live in the Philippines. I've been doing international health care since the early 90s. And when NARM first came up with the credentialing uh, CPM designation, I sat one of the first NARM exams. Later, I actually took the NARM test again when the state of New Mexico was testing the exam to decide if they would use it for their state licensing. So I've actually passed the NARM exam twice at this point and have also helped hundreds of other students go through the NARM exam and pass it. Now we're still holding our own NARM study retreats. We hold these in Boise, Idaho twice a year in February and August and that's a live retreat that has the dynamic of you know midwives coming together and studying together and eating delicious food together and uh, getting away from their their life for a few days. But by popular demand, we have now created an online course. We've been asked for this for years for people that either um, couldn't travel or uh, didn't have the, the time and money set aside to go away for a week. So in light of the fact that NARM, as of June 2014, has now put the test online, we feel like this is a wonderful time to start uh, this online course that you're now taking. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this course, what it is and what it's not. This course is not a substitute for a good, solid academic foundation. If you haven't put in the information at this point in your midwifery career, uh, this course will only be of limited value to you. But if you've been studying, if you've been going to births, if you've been uh, either doing your own uh, PEP process or you've been in the MEEK accredited school and now what you want to do is, is cement that and get ready to take your big test then this is going to be a, a huge help to you. This course is also not magic and nothing is guaranteed. You have to do the hard work of studying for this big test but what we're going to do is give you the study tools, we're going to give you evidence-based study tips and we're going to help you lay the foundation uh, that if you'll do the work, then we, we think you're going to have success with this big test. If you will do the hard work, this is an excellent opportunity for you to move the odds in your favor of having success the first time you take the NARM exam. What this course is, what's exciting is, is that the way this course is laid out is it becomes personalized just for you. So as you take our practice tests, you find out where your own holes are. You find out your strengths and your weaknesses, both in midwifery knowledge, but also in test taking. So as you take the practice tests and as you go over the answers, you'll be able to see, oh, I'm weak in this area, but I'm really strong in this area. I need to study more in this area. You'll also be able to find your test taking errors where you knew the material but you simply made mistakes on the test and so this course is really going to help you as you take all these practice tests. I think you're, in the end you'll have taken 710 test questions practicing and be able to look at your answers, find out what you got wrong, find out what you got right, and then have the time to go look up the things you're weak in or practice uh, overcoming those test taking errors so that when you sit down at the test center for the actual NARM exam, you're going to be past all that. You're going to be strong in your knowledge and you're going to be strong in your test taking skills. You will have mastered the art of multiple choice questions and you can go in that day, feel confident, 
and pass it the first time, which is what we know you want to do. Now a little word about the test questions you'll be taking. I mentioned earlier that I have passed NARM twice, but I don't remember any of the questions on that test. It's kind of like childbirth, you get amnesia. The test is, is a little traumatic for most of us and we answer the questions and leave the room and at most we might remember one or two questions out of 300. But even if I did remember the questions, it would be illegal for me to tell you what they were. So what we're doing with our practice tests is we're just using tests that we have written over the years, over our decades in midwifery education. We have created practice tests for our own students and we're just giving you an opportunity to practice taking multiple choice questions with midwifery subjects without any of us knowing the exact questions that will be on the NARM. But by practicing the subjects, by practicing your test taking abilities, uh, many, many students find that then when they sit in front of the actual NARM, uh, they feel so much more confident. They do see similar questions. Uh, there's only a limited body of information that we're being asked to, to recall. So that's what we're able to give you with these practice tests is just inoculate you against test anxiety, uh, allow you to see what areas you're weak in, and have time to study those and build those up before taking the actual test. All right, so I mentioned earlier that this test will become personalized to you. As you go through the course, I'm gonna explain a little bit what you'll find in each of the sections. In this introduction, we're going to introduce you to the, the kind of materials that you'll be doing in each of the sections. And then you'll, you'll work through these at your own pace. First of all, we will start you out with a practice test. And in this first section, we're going to give you some sample questions. We're going to show you how you can go to the NARM reference books and look up the answers that you missed or the answers you guessed on and feel very confident that you chose the right one of the four answers. We're also going to teach you how to look at the three wrong answers and easily identify why those are not the correct answer. Because in a multiple choice test, the great thing is the answer is right in front of you. So you can go into this test feeling confident, wow, they're going to write the answer and it's going to be right in front of me. The problem with multiple choice is they've also written three wrong answers and your job is to figure out which of those answers could not possibly be correct. So we're going to give you a way to do this and to start training your brain now with these 700 plus practice questions to look at every test question and be able to say that's why this one's right and that's why these three are wrong. So that'll be the practice test. Now in doing the practice test, you're going to find out something very important. You're going to find holes in your own knowledge base. So you're going to find, oh, I never really spent much time studying embryology and I really need uh, to do that. Or I feel very weak in some of the well woman care issues or well baby care. You're also going to discover things that you remember studying, but it's been so long ago that you forgot. And that's very typical for those that have been studying for years or maybe in your first day of class of midwifery school, they talked about fetal development, but now you don't remember the difference between a zygote and a merula. And you need to bring that information from the back of your brain up to the front of your brain. So we're going to be not only filling in holes, gaps, where you didn't actually learn something along the way, we're also gonna be bringing things from the back of your brain up to the front of your brain. Now the other thing we're gonna be doing is helping you identify the mistakes you make that oftentimes midwives do have a knowledge base that's adequate to pass this test. It's an entry level professional test but they trip themselves up and shoot themselves in the foot because they don't read carefully, they go too fast, or they're reading too slow and they run out of time to finish the test, or they looked at the question and um, maybe they read too much into it and they tried to jump to conclusions, or perhaps some of you are speed readers and you actually miss words. So when a question says, all of these are true except, you don't see the except. So what we're gonna get you to do in the practice test is to identify when you missed a question because it was content and when you missed a question because you simply made a stupid mistake. 
Now, there's nothing wrong with making stupid mistakes in the practice test. That's actually great because you're finding out the errors you're making, you can correct those. And you have plenty of time to self-correct before you take the real test. Same with holes in your knowledge. No shame at all that you forgot to study something or you studied something once and completely forgot it. You can now spend your time wisely just looking at those areas, going back, digging into the books, and getting that cemented, have it up in the front of your brain when you take the NARM exam. And as I said, we're going to help you master multiple choice questions. It's been said that multiple choice questions are the most fair kind of test for people that know their material because you don't have to recall something out of, out of nowhere. Like, oh, 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 I know that, but I just can't make that word come into my brain. I can't remember the word they were looking for because the answers will be right in front of you. But there's an art to being able to take a multiple choice test. And we're going to look at the experts that teach on that. It doesn't even matter the subject matter. A lot of professions have to take multiple choice tests, students in school. And so um, there's this whole body of knowledge that's grown up, evidence-based, around just learning how to do our very best on a multiple choice uh, test, as opposed to an essay or fill in the blanks or short answer. Some of you went to midwifery programs, and I'm aware of a lot of different types of midwifery education because this is my field. Some let you do all your tests open book. Well, that's great, but it may not particularly prepare you for NARM. Some of your schools had you do a lot of essays or a lot of case histories or a lot of fill in the blank. Again, that's great, but it doesn't necessarily prepare you for NARM. So this course is gonna help you ace the art of multiple choice questions. One of the biggest things is you get to practice over and over and over and get over your test anxiety. All of us have test anxiety to a certain extent and some of us have it over the top. We've had people in our norm study retreats that would literally feel nauseated the first day or literally have to go to the bathroom and throw up or would just feel like they they couldn't function the first time but after they took three or four or five practice tests those physical symptoms started going away and they started gaining confidence and by the time they'd finished all the practice tests the test anxiety was gone so that when they walked into the NARM testing site uh, all of those butterflies in the stomach all those feelings of nausea all that anxiety and adrenaline just wasn't there. So one of the gifts of this course will be to inoculate you uh, against test taking anxiety. And because we're doing it online, you'll be all the more prepared for taking this new NARM testing format, which will be an online test. This process may be a little hard on your ego because it's gonna bring up uh, what you don't know, or your mistakes taking tests, but don't worry about that. That's actually great when you make a mistake because that's one more thing you'll have time to look up or it's a mistake you'll have time to correct before the actual norm. So just choose right now to lay your ego down, leave it at the door and uh, go through this process. This course is based on proven theories and methods. Uh, just as I am big on using evidence-based uh, midwifery practice that I'm big on studying what works and what we know works not just what we guess or think might work I'm really big on helping people pass this test with evidence-based methods so we're going to use actual proven theories we're going to look at studies from all over of how students do best uh, how you can improve your uh, cognitive abilities your concentration your memory your recall all those are going to be evidence-based and we're going to be giving you um, it's proven study methods. We're going to be giving you study tips all the way along. So I'm going to kind of outline now what's going to happen in each of the sessions. Okay, so what you're going to find in each of these sections is the following um, items. You're going to find a practice test. Each of the sections is going to have a practice test with 50 questions. You're going to be given an hour to take these 50 questions and then your homework is going to be to look up the ones you got wrong, find the right answer, study that whole area if you find you're generally weak on STIs or, or something like that. 
and spend time in the NARM reference books on that subject. Look up the answers you got wrong. I also highly recommend that you look up the answers that you might have gotten right, but you know you just guessed because you really didn't remember what the newborn reflexes were, but you just made a lucky guess. It doesn't really help you to just go uh, to ignore that at this point because you might guess differently on the actual norm test when faced with newborn reflexes unless you've gone back and studied it and you're very clear on it. So look up all the test questions you got wrong. Look up all the test questions that you had to guess on. Now the next element in your sections will be a list of vocabulary words that we're going to ask you to put on three by five cards. And I'll be explaining in a minute uh, how valuable the humble flash card is. This is one when they ask experts in test taking, what is the best study technique? So many of the experts say flashcards. So we'll give you some details on that. The other tools we're going to give you for homework is we're going to give you a brain download. We call it a brain download because these are topics that you just have to memorize. There's no way around it. I call these free, free throws. Like in the game of basketball, uh, when a player gets fouled, they get to make a free throw. Well, when you get, when you get in, the, in the pros or even, you know, if you're going to be competitive high school or college basketball, you have to be able to make your free throws. You don't want to miss those because those are expected that you are going to get them right. There are things that you could just practice over and over and it does take hard work still to get to the point where you can make your free throws but that hard work can be done outside of the court. And so what we're going to do is give you topics where we're going to say how well do you know all these things that you just have to have memorized to do really well on a test. The other thing we're going to give you as a study uh, tool is mind maps. Uh, mind maps are really great for just training your brain to think of all the possibilities, to go in all kinds of directions, to look at a problem from all the angles, like what are the signs and symptoms, what's the diagnosis, what's the treatment, what are the risk factors, what are the predisposing causes, uh, what's the sequelae, uh, what happens if, if, it, if it becomes something else. So it's a really good way to train your brain to um, prepare for the SNARM exam. And then the last thing that will be in each section is a, a set of study tips where I will be looking at evidence from many studies, uh, many universities like Harvard University or Columbia University where they're saying, we have been studying how students test best or what foods help our brains function the best for memory and concentration or you know, what kind of behaviors that we do after we learn something helps our brain to remember that the best. So at the end of each section, we'll, uh, we'll have uh, study tips. So in summary, all of your sections will include a practice test. They'll include um, test taking tips, a brain download, a mind map, and the vocabulary words for you to create your own three by five cards. So we're going to suggest that if you're able to in your life that you treat studying for NARM like a full-time job. If you are able to set aside uh, other things in your life and treat this like a full-time job, uh, this course would take you um, about 10 days to finish working 8 hours a day if you really dig deep in studying into the test questions. If you don't have quite that much time to spend, you could do it in a week like we do at the live NARM study retreat. We do it, we do, we condense all this into five days, but that's all that's happening in anyone's life. If you need to treat this as a part-time job where you're going to spend maybe four hours a day, it's going to take double that long. And if you're someone that's very busy, you have a full-time job, you have a lot of small children, then hopefully you've bought this early enough that you can just take your time, work for, through one section at a time. Some of the sections only take 10, 15 minutes to complete. Others take an hour or more. Um, and just work through it methodically and just finish it before you make your hard day to sign up for NARM. So we're asking you to trust the process. If you will go through this course systematically, section by section, 
and do the practice tests and then do all the homework that we assign, we really believe that we can help you achieve success and move the odds way in your favor of getting NARM the first time. So are you ready? Okay, we're going to start on section one. And in section one, remember, we're just going to practice all these things I've been talking about, show you how we want you to do them, and then you'll be set to go ahead and go through the rest of the sections on your own. Now, at the end of this whole thing, at the end of your eight sections, we're going to give you a dress rehearsal for the NARM exam. So at the end of this course, we have set up that you will take, you'll set a whole day aside, you'll get a babysitter if you need to, you're going to take, you're going to do a dress rehearsal practice for NARM, and you'll take a test in the morning worth 150 questions, then you'll take an hour lunch break, you'll come back and do the afternoon section of 150 questions, and this will mimic as closely as we possibly can uh, the day of your actual NARM exam. So, are you ready? Let's go.